Jay here. Welcome to Beginning Guitar Chapter 17. Okay, today we're going to start to explore some major 7 chords and minor 6 chords. Let's start off with the D major 7. Okay, for our major 7 chords, these chords are going to be built with a major triad. That's the root, third, and fifth. And we're going to add the natural seventh or the major seventh. It's going to give it kind of a, um, a little jazzier sound. Uh, they're really cool. They also sound great for rock. And you could even crank them up, slap some distortion on them too. So some of my favorite chords. For our D major 7 chords, we're adding the note C sharp to our chords. So we have a D major triad with a D, F sharp, and an A, and then including that natural 7th, the C sharp. Now for your D major 7, the first one's going to be a index bar. So you can have your open 5th string, open 4th string, and then with my index, just going to bar and get the 2nd frets on the first 3 strings. You can avoid your low 6th string or have your thumb over the top to mute it. Okay, now you can also stack this same chord. So now with my index on the second fret third string, middle's on the second fret second string, and then ring is on the second fret first string. Another way to play that same chord. Okay, now I'm gonna give two other kind of bar chords. Some of these might be tricky, but um, go ahead and put them out there. Now for this one, I'm gonna have my pinky on the fifth fret fifth string, ring fingers on the fourth fret four string and then barring to get my second frets on the first three strings and then just avoid your low six string or make some contact with your pinky to mute it okay now the next one's going to be the fifth string bar chord shape so i've got my index finger on the fifth fret fifth string ring fingers on the seventh fret four string middle fingers on the sixth fret third string pinkies on the seventh fret second string and then barring to get the fifth fret on the first string with my index Make some contact to mute your low six string. Okay, now for minor six chords, we're going to basically have a minor triad. That's a one flat three in the fifth, and we're going to add the natural six to it. It's going to give this chord a cool personality to it. You can also hear some of these in sort of spy thriller soundtracks and stuff like that. They sort of have a um, kind of a uh, aloofness to them with a little darker twist, I would say. Okay, now for your E minor 6, we're going to have an E minor chord and we're just going to add the note C sharp to it. So I've got my regular E minor shape, open 6th string, middle fingers on the 2nd fret 5th string, ring fingers 2nd fret 4th string, open 3rd string, and then pinky grabs the 2nd fret on the 2nd string and then open 1st string. And then pinky's grabbing the note C sharp. Okay, one more cool way to play in an open position, E minor 6. I'm going to have my open 6th string, ring fingers on the 4th fret 5th string, index is on the 2nd fret 4th string, and then all open strings from there. And this is putting the 6 a little bit lower, so now my C sharp is on the 5th string. This chapter strum pattern is going to have all 8th notes and we're going to have a tied note. Okay, now for your eighth notes, I'm going to recommend a down and an up. And when you see a box without a bottom, that's a down strum. And an arrow pointing down is an up strum. On beat one, we'll have two eighth notes with a down and an up. On beat two to beat three, we're going to have eighth notes, but we're going to tie the end of two into the downbeat of beat three. So when you have a tied note, that's going to be a normal note plus the note it's tied to. And on beat two, we're going to go down, up. Now on the downbeat of three, just miss your down strum and then resume strumming on the and of three with an up strum and then we'll have normal eighth notes on beat four. So here's the pattern without a chord. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. I'll just be playing each of these one time, but I recommend repeat them all four to eight times and check out your different tempos, slow, medium, and fast. Okay, grab your D major 7 chord and let's go four bars with our pattern. One and two and three and four and... Okay, for number two, let's go four bars with an E minor 6. One and two and three and four and... a little faster. One and two and three and four and... For number three, 
we're going to have an eight bar progression. We'll go four bars of D major seven into four bars of E minor six. One and two and three and four and five. <laughs> Four, we're gonna go two bars of D major seven into two bars of E minor six. One and two and three and four and five. Okay, for number five, we're gonna go one bar of regular D major into one bar of D major seven and then repeat that again for bars three and four. For your regular D major, you can have your open fifth string, open fourth string, Index is on the 2nd fret 3rd string, ring fingers on the 3rd fret 2nd string, middles on the 2nd fret 1st string, and then you can just come in from your 5th string, avoid your low 6th string, or have your thumb over the top to mute your low 6th string. Okay, now here comes number 5. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... number five a little faster. One and two and three and four and five. Okay, for number six, we're gonna go one bar of normal E minor into one bar of E minor six. For this one, I'm just gonna have normal E minor, that's open sixth string, middle fingers on the second fret fifth string, ring fingers on the second fret fourth string, and then open first three strings. And then to make that move to your E minor six, just uh, add your pinky to your second fret second string. One and two and three and four and Okay, for number seven, we're gonna go two bars of D major seven with normal pattern. We'll switch it to an A minor on bar three with a whole note, that's a chord lasting for four beats. And then we'll have two half notes on bar four and that's each chord lasting for two beats. For your A minor, open sixth string, open fifth string, middle fingers on the second fret fourth string, ring fingers on the second fret third string, index is on the first fret second string, open first string. And then you can also have your thumb over the top to mute your low sixth string if you like. Okay, here comes number seven. One and two and three and four and two, three, four, two, four. Okay, for number eight, we're gonna have an eight bar progression. We're gonna start off with E minor six, normal pattern for two bars. We'll switch it to C major for two bars, normal pattern. On bar five, we'll switch to E major with normal pattern. Bar six is gonna be a whole note rest. That'll be um, resting for a full bar. Switch it to D minor for bars seven and eight with normal pattern. Okay, for your C major, got the ring finger on the third fret fifth string, middle finger is on the second fret fourth string, open third string, index is on the first fret second string, open first string, and then make some contact with your ring to mute your low sixth string or have your thumb over the top to mute that note. For your E major, open sixth string, middle fingers on the second fret fifth string, ring fingers on the second fret fourth string, index is on the first fret third string, and then open first two strings. For D minor, first finger, first fret first string, ring fingers on the third fret second string, middles on the second fret third string, and you could have your open fifth and fourth string, and you could have your thumb over the top to meet your low sixth string too. Okay, here comes number eight. One and two and three and four and Okay, for the last one, number nine, we're gonna start off with D major seven with normal pattern on bar one. On bar two, we'll have normal pattern, but we'll have a quarter note rest on beat four where we won't play anything. On bar three, we'll switch it to an A major with normal pattern. And then on bar four, we'll have a whole note with four beats of an A chord. 
For A major, I'm just doing the stack. I've got my open sixth string, open fifth string, index is on the second fret, fourth string, middle fingers on the second fret, third string, ring fingers on the second fret, second string, and then open first string. One and two and three and four and four. Rest. Okay, for this chapter scales, we're going to learn D major and the E Dorian scale. I want to point out that all these scales are going to be completely movable shapes too, so eventually we'll be bumping these same shapes to different notes to play our different scales around the neck. Okay, for your D major, we've learned this scale already in open position, so now we're going to basically climb up to our fourth position, and we're going to be targeting where our D falls on the fifth fret on the fifth string. So, um, Let's go ahead and name our notes for our D major scale. It's going to be a D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp to D. And let's go ahead and try one octave scale. Okay, we're going to go five to seven on the fifth string. You could use your index to your ring for that or just use your index for all notes. On the fourth string, we'll go four, five, seven. I'm using my index middle and pinky, but you could check out some other fingers, see if you like it. On the third string, four, six, seven. I'm going index to ring to pinky. You can also go index ring to ring. Okay, coming back down, we'll go six to four, third string, seven, five, four, fourth string, and then seven, five, fifth string. Okay, here's that scale up and down. Three, four. Okay, for number two, we're going to do each note four times, and they're going to sound like 16th notes. Now, for this, we can go all down picking, and we can also introduce some alternate picking. Now, if you already haven't learned about alternate picking, it's basically when we're going to use down and ups. And um, alternate picking is really great, or alt picking. Um, you can start to develop some pretty fast speed with it, too. I use it all the time. And with alternate picking, I do recommend if you have good right hand hand position, you can just rest on your strings or by the bridge and you could just kind of have that resting point and then you could just start to all pick from there with that resting point it really makes it easier you can also do it as you're just hovering but making that contact with your palm a little bit not muting necessarily we will do that too but you can have a resting point with your palm and just all pick away there and then my palm's just gonna sort of scoot as I go to the higher strings, so my right hand's also moving a bit as I go through the different strings. Okay, now I'll demonstrate both down pick and alt picking. So here is number two. This is gonna be 16th notes with all down picks. Three E and a, four E and a. with all picking three e and a four e and a down up down up Okay, we'll also be doing a study in this chapter where we'll talk about some alternate picking and get inside of it a little further. Number three, we're going to take our D major scale up two octaves. So let's do what we've already done. Five to seven on the fifth string. Four, five, seven, fourth string. Four, six, seven, third string. Now we'll go five, seven, eight on the second string. And then on the first string, we'll go five, seven, nine, ten. And your tenth fret is your second octave D. Let's come on back down. Nine, seven, five. Eight seven five on your second string, seven six four third string, seven five four fourth string, and then seven five fifth string. Okay, here's that scale up and down. Three, four.
Okay, for numbers four, five, and six, we're gonna talk about the E Dorian scale. Dorian's a great minor scale. It's basically like your pure minor scale, but it has a natural six. And this six also is similar to our E minor six chord. So this will be a great scale to play when you're playing minor six chords. Um, the Dorian scale is one that I use a lot and also use it a lot over minor seven chords and, and just regular minor chords. So let's go ahead and name the notes of our E Dorian scale. It's going to be an E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, back to E. And again, that's flatting the third and the seventh from a major scale, and that gives us the Dorian scale. Okay, Dorian's also based off of the second mode of the major scale. So as we're playing E Dorian, we're, we're still playing the notes of our D major scale. We're just starting on the second degree of that scale. Okay, let's go ahead and learn our seventh position E Dorian scale. We're gonna go seven, nine, 10 on the fifth string, seven, nine on the fourth string, and then six, seven, nine on the third string. That ninth fret is your E, that's the first octave. Coming back down, we'll go seven to six, nine to seven, four string, and then 10, nine, seven on the fifth string. Here's that scale up and down, three, four. Okay, for number five, let's go four on each note. They'll sound like 16th notes. You could do all down picks or alternate picking. Three E and a, four E and a. Okay, for the last one, number six, let's take the scale up two octave. Let's do what we've already done. Seven, nine, ten on the fifth string. Seven to nine on your fourth string. Six, seven, nine, third string. Seven, eight, ten on your second string. And then on the first string, we'll go seven, nine, ten, twelve. That twelfth fret is your second octave E. Coming back down, we'll go ten, nine, seven. Ten, eight, seven on your second string. Nine, seven, six on the third string. 9 to 7 4 string and then 10 9 7 fifth string. Okay, here's that scale up and down. 3 4 Okay, I always recommend to jam and improvise with your chords and your scales. So I'm gonna strum some D major seven and then play some D major scale. You could strum any pattern and play any tempo, starting off with some chords. And then some scales. Back to some chords. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same concept. I'm gonna strum some E minor six and then improvise with some E Dorian. Start off with some chords. For this chapter study, we're gonna talk about some alternate picking. Okay, now we've already introduced alternate picking in this chapter, um, also called alt picking, but it's basically when we're gonna be using co um, combinations of down and up picking as we pick our scales and pick single notes. Okay, now um, let's go ahead and do some open strings for number one. We're just gonna do eighth notes with our open sixth string. I do recommend you can have a resting point with your palm. 
just a, a bit above your bridge, or you could hover too, that's all good. But a resting point really helps uh, kind of keep you in position and um, helps me target certain strings too. Okay, now if I go alternate picking with my eighth notes, I'm gonna be going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up for all my beats right here. Okay, let's go ahead and try number one. And I'll just be playing each of these two times, but I recommend repeat them all a bunch, get inside of it. Okay, here comes number one. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, for number two, we're gonna do the same concept on the fifth string. One and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, here's number three on the open four string. One and two and three and four and. Okay, for number four, we're gonna have the open third string. One and two and three and four and. For number five, we'll have the open second string. One and two and three and four and. For number six, we'll go the open first string. One and two and three and four and. Here's number six a little faster. One and two and three and four and. Okay, for number seven, now we're gonna switch some notes. We're gonna still be doing eighth notes, but we're gonna go first beat, two notes on the open sixth string, two notes on the second fret, same string, two notes on the fourth fret, same string, and then back to two notes on the second fret, same string. Okay, here's number seven. One and two and three and four and. For number eight, we're gonna be all on the fifth string. We're gonna go open string twice, second fret twice, third fret twice, back to our second fret twice. Here's number eight. One and two and three and four and. For number nine, we're gonna stay on the third string. We're gonna go open string twice, first fret twice, second fret twice, back to the first fret twice. One and two and three and four and. For number 10, we'll stay on the first string. We're gonna go open string twice, second fret twice, fourth fret twice, and then second fret twice. One and two and three and four and. Okay, for number 11, we're gonna go into an E major scale and we're just gonna alt pick this whole scale as we climb up through all the notes. Okay, now we're gonna start off um, with our open two four on the sixth string, open two four on the fifth string, one two four on your fourth string, one two on the third string, open two four on the second string, and then we'll go open two on the first string. We'll come on back down, open first string, four two open second string, second to one on the third string, four two one on your fourth string, four two open fifth string, and then four two open on your sixth string. Okay, now with alternate picking, it'll look like this. Three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, for number 12, we're gonna go into some 16th notes. So for this one, we're just gonna do all open sixth string with 16th notes, and that'll be a down, up, down, up on each beat. Three E and a four E and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here's number 12 a little faster. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
For number 13, we're gonna just do 16th notes on an open fifth string. Three E and a, four E and a. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For number 14, we'll go 16th notes with the open third string. Three E and a, four E and a. One, two, three, four. with 16th notes. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's number 15 a little faster. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you just practice that, especially keeping your resting point, You can start to get into your really fast picking and your tremolo picking too. For number 16, we're going to alt pick 16th notes with an A minor scale. We're going to have a different note for each beat and four notes on each beat. Okay, now for beat one, we'll have the open A string or your open fifth string. We'll go to our second fret, same string. Third fret, same string. Open four string. Second fret. Third fret. Open third string. Second fret. Now we'll come back down, open third string, third fret, four string, second fret, four string, open four string, third fret, fifth string, second fret, fifth string, and then open fifth string. Okay, here's number 16 up and down. Three E and a, four E and a. a little faster. Three E and a, four E and a. Thank you so much for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you for the next chapter. Take it easy.